thanks for clicking on the video today. I hope that everyone had a great holiday season. Uh, a lot of you probably have been wondering where I've been the last couple of months because I went from uploading two or three videos a week to not uploading anything since Lumion 12 came out, really. I was taking the time to not only just sort of reflect on what I wanted to do with the channels, but also taking the time to just focus on the business for a bit. We did have a very busy uh, final quarter of 2021, so I think that we kind of got to a point now where things have slowed down a little bit and things aren't as hectic, so I do have time to start making videos again. However, I don't think that I'll be making any more Lumion videos. And the reason really is just that we don't use Lumion much at all anymore. With all the changes that just came out to Blender in 3.0, so there's an updated asset library, there's pretty much a rewritten Cycles render, which is Cycles X. So it's it's got a lot of quality of life changes and the viewport in rendered mode is now basically real time. So it really just doesn't make any sense for us to use Lumion anymore. Uh, we found that not only are the Blender scenes coming out much nicer, but we also spend considerably more time on Lumion setting everything up and then rendering it. And with Blender, once we kind of get everything set up, it's faster. And if it takes longer to render, so be it. Uh, all the things coming up with geometry nodes lately as well in Blender has really made me want to spend a lot of time learning that. And I find that I just don't have the time that I need to be spending on Lumion and really learning more about it. The To me, I, I didn't really make it a, uh, a secret that I thought that Lumion 12 was a bit of a disappointment. I don't really see anything, you know, cool and exciting happening with Lumion. Uh, to me, it seems like it's almost in the maintenance mode like SketchUp is. There's really nothing that's happened since I started using SketchUp to really change the software. And now I feel like Lumion is kind of in that situation as well. The features that are getting added are just not any that I, I really care about and really influences my workflow too much. So I've just been having trouble kind of sitting down and focusing on it and really getting anything done. Anytime I, I would open Lumion nowadays, it's, it's to make a video. So I just decided that it's going to become a Blender focused channel. If anyone is interested in learning more about Blender, we are going to be coming out with more videos. Nick is also an avid Blender user like myself, who's my business partner. So he's going to be able to start making videos as well, whereas he's not really that interested in making Lumion videos. Uh, and I don't think he ever really was interested in using Lumion once we started using Blender. I figured that this will be a disappointment to quite a few people. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people that have to use Lumion for work. And a lot of them have reached out to me saying that my videos have helped. And I, I'm very happy that I was able to help. I'm not going to take down any of my old videos. If someone has any questions about the old videos, I'll answer them. Uh, for those of you that are going to unsubscribe from this news, I just want to say thank you very much for coming and sticking it out as long as you did. Uh, I, I don't anticipate that everyone will be staying since uh, a lot of people that aren't interested in getting Blender videos are just not going to want to see that clogging up their timeline. If you do use Lumion, I don't think that it's necessarily a bad tool. I just think that it doesn't really make any sense for what we use it for now. I think that the real value of Lumion is if you are like an architect or a landscape architect in particular, an interior designer that you need to get these quick renders done, but you don't want to pay someone like me to do the renders, then Lumion is a great tool. But for someone who is actually making the renders, and that's really our primary source of sales, we just don't think that Lumion can deliver the quality that we need. And it's also not very easy to build add-ons and libraries and things like that for Lumion because it's sort of a closed circuit. Whereas Blender is very open. We can hire developers if we need to, to get add-ons and to even just make materials. There's a lot of things that Nick and I have always been uh, very interested in doing, like taking drone photography and putting the, the finished buildings into it with compositing. You can't really do that with Lumion, not in any easy way that I know of at least, with, without spending tons of time, you know, manually sorting the camera out, whereas in Blender, we can actually get it to motion track. What this means uh, is that I'm going to outright stop my Luminous Blender YouTube channel because my Luminous Labs main account is going to become the Blender channel. Uh, I'm going to take the videos off of that and re-upload them to this one as well. And that also means that my D5 account, which I was actually hoping to get more videos uploaded to it, I'm not going to be using that as well, just for the main reason that it's kind of in the same situation as Lumion, where it doesn't really make any sense for us to use D5 because we use Unreal Engine. It's something that we've been spending a ton of time on learning. And D5 is just a simplified version of Unreal Engine. It actually runs on Unreal Engine 4, to my knowledge. So 
that is also a channel that we're just going to kind of sweep away because we're just never going to use it. So we will still have three channels. We'll have our main Luminous Labs channel. We'll have our Luminous Unreal, which I'm going to start uploading a lot more to. Even if that doesn't really reach as many people, it's just a place that we can kind of do whatever we want with Unreal without sort of mixing it in with our other videos. And then some of you uh, might remember this account, but I haven't posted anything to it. It's the Luminous Labs Tours or Luminous Tours, mainly looking at the softwares of 3D Vista and Kula and how you make a 360 image, do walkthroughs, everything like that. That to me is still actually going to go through and I'm gonna start making videos for that. I spend a ton of time with those two softwares and I think I can really help a lot of people out. That one, again, I don't really anticipate we'll have too many subscribers or viewers, but I think that for the people that do come across the channel, I can be a huge help to them. I just wanna say one last time, Thank you so much to everyone that watched all my Lumion content. I had a really fun time making it and connecting with all of you. And I really do hope that the majority of you will try out Blender if you haven't already. I think that Blender is such an incredible software. A lot of people probably feel like everyone that talks about Blender is like a cult, but once you really start using Blender and you realize everything that it can do, I do think that it kind of blows you away. Luminous Labs as a company would probably be nowhere near where it is if we weren't using Blender. We've learned so much, not only about ArchViz rendering, but also just 3D art as a whole from Blender that we're really excited for the changes that are gonna be happening with the metaverse and virtual reality, uh, you know, Apple Glass, Google Glass, whatever that was. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the, if that's gonna be coming out, but if it is, then I think that we're gonna be, hopefully, you know, have our hand in that. We're gonna be doing more and more with it. Yeah, ultimately in summary, it just comes down to we just really only use Blender and Unreal anymore. We think that they are extremely strong software. They're free software. Uh, I think that Unreal Engine is going to be a game changer in a lot of industries, not just for architecture. I think you're going to start seeing Unreal Engine used for a lot of things, especially with Unreal Engine 5 and the new Lumen and Nanite system. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty incredible. So if you are uh, SketchUp and Lumion users and you are frustrated with the two softwares feeling like you're not really seeing any updates I do really recommend that you check out Blender if you have any questions that you want to ask me about Blender my email is g.miles at luminouslabs.ca I'll answer any questions that you have and I'm also going to be posting my getting started with Blender tutorial to the main channel uh, some of you may have already done it it's just creating a barrel and I show you some of the basic steps that you have to do to navigate around the viewport and make your first Blender project. So I hope to see you in more of my videos. Thanks again, everyone. Have a good night.